Hello and welcome to your Actors EU Tweets of the Week. This week, COVID vaccine hope is a major stock market plus, Michelle's school for imams causes a fuss, and an outraged MEP doesn't want to take the bus. This week we are supported by the European Left. Find out more about their European Forum later on. Well, 2020 has thrown us enough curveballs, so it's nice to have some positive news for a change. Even the markets are celebrating a potential new vaccine and the defeat of Donald Trump, pointed out Nikos Chrysoloras. Pfizer and BioNTech say their COVID-19 vaccine is more than 90% effective, reported Barbara Tash. Nishu, as usual, went a little bit off-piste, suggesting that lipstick stocks would surge and sourdough flour futures collapse. The European Commission confirmed a contract for up to 300 million doses of the vaccine once it has proven to be safe and effective, which Sam Morgan pictured a little bit like this. If you want to tell positive stories, look no further than just how a little-known German biotech firm founded by the children of Turkish immigrants became a leader in the global coronavirus vaccine race. This week, the European left is promoting its European Forum. The 2020 edition starts on 8th of November and will run online throughout the month. This year, focusing on the COVID-19 pandemic challenges to humanity and how to re-found a Europe of solidarity. Check out the full programme at europeanforum.eu. This week, the European Council President, Charles Michel, presented a new idea that was met with widespread scepticism. Specifically, he wants to set up a European institute to train imams in Europe in order to fight the ideology of hatred. Diago Velázquez said the idea is so outlandish and bad that he can't possibly have said it. We all just misunderstood him because of his champion English accent. DG Meme was the first to hail DG God, created from a rib of Sec Gen. Next Generation EU Man suggested James Crisp, referring to another of the Commission's widely ridiculed titles. Meanwhile, Member States were also getting in on the action and flexing their anti-terror muscles. Austrian Chancellor Sebastian Kurz says his government will create a new category of crime called political Islam. Oh, for fuck's sake, Chancellor, could you fucking not, begged Luke Dockendorf clarifying that any expletives are, in fact, perfectly valid technical terms in diplomatic jargon. Finally this week, in another unedifying example of diplomatic debate, EPP MEP Marcus Ferber launched into a rant at European Parliament President David Sassoli because he still has a driver while regular MEPs have to use public transport. Sie haben einen Fahrer. Wir müssen hier public transport benutzen. Ferber was demanding the return of per diems and the chauffeur service that were suspended during lockdown. Welcome to Planet MEP, tweeted James Franey. Not a good look, particularly during the corona crisis. Fellow MEP Martin Sonneborn was also unimpressed, suggesting the hashtag pray for Ferber. Cue much of German Twitter telling Ferber exactly what they think about his plight. That's it for this week. Join me again next Friday for more gripes and snipes in the Brussels bubble Twitter sphere. Thank you.